Hello and welcome to TV Tutorials. My name is Doc. Let us do computer practice info, shall we? Let's get right to it. On today's episode, I want to explain to you guys how files and folders actually work in file management operations. The most common thing that you guys would be asked in a question paper is to create folders, right? So if you want to create a folder, this is how you go about it. So on an empty space, you would need to right click on your mouse you would get a pop-up window, right? So once you get your pop-up window, you need to navigate to new. Once you get to new, if you click on new, you will get a secondary pop-up menu. On the secondary pop-up menu, your first option would be folder. So you need to click on folder. This basically allows you to create a new clean folder on your computer. Once you have created your folder, you get the option to actually rename that folder. So let's go ahead and rename our folder to something like computer practice and four computer practice and four so we have our folder created we have our folder created and we have renamed our folder in an instance where already you have a folder created for you where you do not need to create a folder but you need to change the name of a folder this is how you go about it so on that particular folder that you want to rename, you would want to right click until you get this pop up window. And then on this pop up window, you need to navigate all the way to rename. Basically, this allows us to change the name of the folder that is already there into something else. So let us go ahead and change the name of this folder to something else. We are going to change it to doc, just doc. There we go. And that is how you actually rename a folder. So after we have created our folder, then we need to start moving files into our folder. So if you want to move files into your folder, you can make use of the drag and drop function. Basically what this means is that you will drag your file that you are trying to move and then drop it on top of the folder that you are trying to move it into. And then just like that, it has been moved. It has been moved. So if you open the folder where you moved your file, our file should be inside of this folder. So we're going to go ahead and double click on this folder to, to check if our file is inside of this document, inside of this folder. There we have our, our file there. It has been moved into this folder, into the folder that we have created. So that is how we actually move files inside or into a, a folder. When you move a folder or when you create a new folder inside of a folder, that folder you have created, now it is actually labeled as a subfolder because it is under a main folder, right? So we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder inside our main folder. It is the same way we created the main folder. So on a blank space inside of your folder, you would want to right click and then navigate to new and then click on folder. Once you click on folder, you still get the same um, process where you need to rename your folder. So let us go ahead and rename this folder to sub. Now we have our main folder, which is doc. It is on our desktop and inside of that main folder, we have a subfolder and we have a file. So our files and folders actually come in different types. Unlike your traditional filing system where your files actually are hard copies, which are straight papers, right? In the computer, you can have files existing in different types. One of um, a couple of examples that I can give you guys are Microsoft Word documents. That is a different type of file. Uh, your Microsoft Excel, that is a different type of file. Your Microsoft presentation or PowerPoint, that is a different type of file. Your um, Microsoft publisher, that's a different type of file. Even your music, your movies, your videos that you keep or that you have in your computer, those are different file types. Now, file types in a computer are actually identified using something called file extensions. Basically, file extensions means this is a way of the computer identifying which type of a file this is and which program to use to execute that file. Let us go back onto our screen and then I will show you guys how to tell uh, the extensions of certain files. So let us go ahead and maximize this window. So in our folder, 
we have a file created here, which is a spreadsheet, right? And if we want to know the extension of this file, we can actually view that information um, under the properties of this file. So to view the properties of a file, you go over to that file and then you right click, you should get a pop-up window. On that pop-up window, you would want to scroll or you would want to navigate all the way to the bottom where you would find properties. Click on properties and then you will get another pop-up window. On that pop-up window, basically what you will have is all the information about that particular file that you have um, viewed the properties of. The properties, usually it shows uh, the name of the file, which can be found here. The type of a file. This is the type of a file. It is called Microsoft Excel Worksheet. And then this little part, this little part that I just highlighted, the .xlsx, that is the file extension, right? So basically your computer uses this part of this um, file to determine what type of a file this is. So once the computer picks up that the extension is a .xlsx, that means it would know that this file is an is a spreadsheet, right? Again, another thing that we find under under properties is information such as what this type of file is open with, right? So this extension is linked to what this file can be opened with or the program that the computer uses to execute that particular file. Another thing that you find under properties is the location, the location of your file. This is basically where your file can be found on your computer. This is the location of that file. Our properties also displays the size of that file. This is the size the file occupies on that um, storage media. We also get to see information such as when our file was created, when our file was modified, or when our file was assessed, right? And then we also get to um, view attributes, whether our file is read only or it is hidden. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more lesson videos by myself and my team at TV Tutorials. Click on the bell icon so that you are instantly notified every time we drop a new lesson video. Until then, adios.